hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i am doing another mukbang and today i'm gonna be eating indian slash pakistani food so let's get started i'm really really hungry i just got off of work well it's been about an hour so i'm really gonna um, chow this down so first we have some biryani this is chicken biryani oh, my mouth is watering by smelling all of this and then i also got uh samosa this is um as meat yeah i think it's like ground chicken in there oh my god the garlic naan they're smelling so good these are the naan garlic naan and then for the um what is it? for the curry we got i got we got lamb curry i'm saying like i it's me and my husband my husband is also eating with me so lamb curry i've never had well it's lamb korma right yeah, we ordered lamb korma, and I've never tried lamb korma. And just to let you guys know, I am also Pakistani, so I should... Oh, and mango lassi. I haven't had mango lassi for... It's been years, so I'm, I want to try that too, and I forgot how it tastes. So let me put... Let me fix myself a plate, and then we'll get eaten. I like the biryani, you know. It, it's really good. It's very difficult to find a good... Um pakistani or slash indian restaurant i'm just gonna say pakistani slash indian because you know honestly it's the same food almost i mean there are like you know separate communities that have their own culture cultural food but like biryani it, like it's in both countries you know and both countries used to be one country before so yeah anyways so lamb korma is like it's made out of as like a cashew base i think and i've never had this before so this will be a first as well for me so here's my plate my biryani my lamb um and then but first i will start off with the samosa it's been a while since i had a samosa so we're gonna eat a samosa and with samosas they give you chutney my favorite is this one the brown one you know this is the tamarind chutney it's like sweet and sour both did you guys hear that yelling it's kids playing outside so this is sweet and sour and then there's this green one i don't really like the green one i like the the tamarind one with my samosa so let's begin oh my gosh i'm so hungry bismillah hmm It's okay. I feel like I had better samosas before, you know. This is kind of all right, not too bad. Okay, now let's try the biryani. Biryani looks good, and they also gave this raita, this like a yogurt thing to eat with the chutney. I mean, with the biryani, not the chutney. So. Mm. Yep, the biryani is really good. It hits the spot. Mm-mm-mm. I'm -mm -mm. mess. Mm -mm. So far, so good. Let me taste my mango lassi. It feels really thick. Mmm. delicious it tastes like real mangoes wow but it's really thick yummy and then i will also taste the lamb because you know why not i've seen like other people like non uh pakistani or indian people do mukbangs well first let me try this hmm the naan are a little hard today but this kind of tastes like the chicken tikka masala or the tikka masala sauce because i i love chicken tikka masala or lamb they even have lamb tikka masala but this is similar to that but it's good i approve i like it um i love the samosa 
but this chutney is like too thick they made it really thick today and by the way this is the restaurant is Taj something it's in Michigan if you guys are in Michigan so it's good but this place back in the day used to be really popping but ever since I don't know what happened change of ownership or what but it's like it's not as popular as before the biryani is good but there's something that's coming off really strong in there i can't pull my finger on there right with something that's like sweet sweet i just can't figure out what it is but that's you know but good what can we say alhamdulillah for everything alhamdulillah means you know thank god thanking god basically Mm. We're gonna do our yogurt sauce with this because that like cools everything down. Here, you guys take a spoon too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I just got off of work. Well, not just at six thirty. I got off at five. I work from home. Back when I used to be so, um, I used to be so like, I want a, I want a job that I can work home from. You know, it sounds so cool. You just work from home. You're at home all the time. And I, I really wanted a job like that, you know. And now that I have a job like that, I'm not too sure, you know. It's like you're at home 24-7. Your work is at home. You're just at home 24-7. And I'm not kind of feeling it anymore, you know? I'm like, oh, I need to get out of the house. I get up, log into my computer, and just sit at the computer all day. And then after that, I log off and I come into my living area, and it's I'm just at home. It's so annoying. Like, my feelings have changed about working from home. This is ground chicken samosa, but I prefer the potato one better than this. The potato one is just like, you know, the authentic one. Mm. I was so hungry. Mm. Do you guys watch? Steph Pappas, if you guys do, you guys must have heard her father passed away. I saw the, I saw her yesterday when she posted her video and I was so sad. Like, I loved her dad, you know? He was so funny and, like, their relationship was so nice. So, you know, my heart goes out to her and her family, her mom. Like, they were such a nice, sweet little family and it's just unfortunate what happened. I was watching my other one, my first mukbang, and you can hear like my chewing noises, you know. And I know some people don't like that, but like I'm not, I don't know how to not make chewing noises, you know. It's kind of awkward, but and I'm also gonna try not to talk when I'm chewing because that looks really messy. So forgive me, I'm still in training. <laughs> Anyways. What are you guys up to? What are you guys doing? How's your day been going? What are you guys eating? Also, guys, let me know. Do you guys prefer, like, the food showing or the food not showing? Let me know what you guys prefer. Mm. The garlic naan don't seem fresh today, you know? Usually they are so fresh and really soft. These are really chewy, like they've been sitting for a while. Mmm. They're still really good. With the curry. I love food. But my favorite cuisine has to be this Pakistani food. Like, I can't. 
any food that I eat, yeah, I like it. But my comfort food is Pakistani food. Like, give me a good plate of rice or give me a nice little, you know, chicken curry, lamb curry. I'll be, you know, I'll love you forever. Mm. Good stuff. Have you guys tried Indian or Pakistani food? Let me know in the comments below. Oh. I watch mukbangs of people who are not Pakistani or Indian and they like eat their food in such a weird, like I mean I'm not judging them because obviously it's their first time trying it. But they'll, they'll like take their naan, oh, excuse me, they'll take their naan and they'll like, you know, grab rice and eat, eat the biryani with the naan. And it's so weird seeing people do that. But I'll try it. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, I used to eat my rice with the roti. And I really like it, I enjoy it. But they do it because like they don't know what to eat well with. The naan are supposed to be eaten with the curry. Mm. But it's really cool to see other people trying, you know, your cultural food and they love it so much. Like, I've never seen anybody give a bad review for Indian or Pakistani food, so that's good. I'm mad at the chutney. Do you guys see how thick it is, though? Why do they have to make it this thick? Mm -mm. Making a mess. Mm. Honestly, I'm not going to get the mango lucy again. I like it, but. It's just too thick for me. I'm not, I hate like really thick stuff, you know? So no lussy for me after this. Last time I'm getting this lussy. Did I show you the lamb? Look at the lamb pieces. They're like little bonus pieces and it's so tender. Like you, it just breaks right off. And then you dip some of the curry on it. Mm. Mm. I don't know how to set this up. Do you want to see the food or not? I think I have to get one of those, <clears throat> you know, trays that Nogakado has where he does his magnificent display. I need to take some tips from him. Mm. Okay, guys. So, I'm just finishing up. I finished my rice. Now, I'm, I'm eating... Uh, some more of the lamb korma. It's really yummy. I love <clears throat> these sauces. You know, I love their sauces. It's like really creamy, really thick. It's, the sun is coming through. I think I have to close the curtain. Hold on. Okay, better. The sun was like coming through the screen. I hate that. But, yep. You know, I like yogurt with everything, so I like to put some yogurt in my plate and then just kind of mix it in with the sauce. The yogurt is like really refreshing, it kind of balances the really thick curry. Mm, good show. I like watching mukbangs that are like long, you know, like just normal they're talking discussing stuff sharing stuff so th that's why i'm gonna see if i could make this longer too because like i'm gonna try to because that's what i like to see so i'm, I'm assuming that's what other people like to see but let me know guys do you guys like longer mukbangs or shorter mukbangs and also if I, i'm gonna try to make this one long but 
I don't know, I'm not much of a talker, you know? Like, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> so I kind of slowly close the camera and then eat a little and then I turn it on if I think of something. So I'm just starting, but hopefully I'll get there. Mm. There's chunks of cashew in there, which I do not like. <clears throat> I know this the curry is made of cashews too, but they're like blended up, you know? I guess they missed a couple in there. So I don't like when pieces come in my mouth. But I really recommend it. You see? Do you guys see this? piece of cashew hmm where my spoon go um, it's right here I also love just eating the yogurt like this hmm Oh, it's so sour. I couldn't tell with like with it being mixed in with the rice and the curry, but it's really sour by itself. Do you guys know I know how to make yogurt at home by myself? I used to make it <clears throat> when I would be at my mom's house when I used to live there. We used a lot of yogurt there, so I would make it sometimes, and it would, it's so cool, you know, how you could turn, like, make yogurt at home. So, yeah, I used to do that. Maybe I'll make a video showing you guys how to make yogurt at home. I was going to get dessert, but I didn't because I love my Pakistani Indian dessert, you know, gulab jamun, rasmalai, stuff like that. But then, um, I had a client come over for some work, and uh, she brought me butterfee. How sweet of her! So I'm like, this is the perfect day because. Excuse me, I was about to burp. I'm trying to chew faster, so I can talk and continue complete my sentence, because. You know, I don't know, but I was saying, what was I even saying now? I forgot. Yeah, I was talking about the butterfly, so I'm like, that was so sweet of her, and and so, where was I going with this? I got butterfly, yeah, but what was I saying? I can't remember. Okay, guys, so I'm done eating, alhamdulillah, for the food. And now let me show you guys the butterfly. So this is butterfly. This is like a Pakistani Indian sweet. It's, I'm not sure what it's made from. Sugar, probably flour, probably milk, and I don't know the rest, but I know it's really, really yummy. It's really delicious. This one really, looks really good. I'm gonna try this one. I think this is like, this one is, like maybe coconut Look, looks really yummy and the bottom is probably something carrot i'm not sure let's try it though hmm. yeah the bottom one is definitely carrot and the top one is not coconut i, I think it's just a regular milk one or something like that and then this one is, I think, well, I don't want that piece. I'm doing it. There's a plane going outside. It's flying. Can you guys hear it? This is, I think this is the, like, the regular one. Mm. So good. So yum.
but I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna eat it later. I want to taste, test some in front of you guys, <coughs> with you guys. But yeah, this is it for the mukbang. Let me know how you guys are liking them so far. This is only my second one. I, I'm still not getting the hang of it. I'm trying to get the hang of it, you know, how to act, what to do, what not to do, because I've been like, taking so many breaks in between because my mind goes blank. Like, what am I supposed to talk about while I'm eating? But it's a journey, and we will get through this journey together. Mangalossi. This is it for this mukbang. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.